Hello and welcome to another one of my videos. Um, today what I'm going to be doing is uh, continuing insulating the window bay. But I've also um, had the opportunity to set up a few mock-ups on, on how what sort of wood I'm going to need and how I'm going to um, box the frame, box the window frame in. So I can just show you that now. So this is it. Um, this is just a mock-up of the insulation I'm going to be putting in. I'm putting 50 mil in here, uh, plus I'm, I've taken the latin plaster off, I'll just put it on widescreen, so i taken the latin plaster off um, and I'm going to be adding some structural wood in there so that I can use, use that to box, uh, to fasten the boxing in, so that's going to be boxed up here. Um, I've decided possibly something to go on the, on the wall side here, I'm going to put some insulation, but in front of that, I'm um, thinking of matchboard. I'm not entirely sure yet, but matchboard in there. Uh, I put um, a win the window sill in temporary, uh, just to see how that's going to go. I'm going to use this piece of wood for framing in here, uh, which I'm going to get on with today. And I've also just put a sample of uh, insulation in. So that, luckily, the reason I'm going to use this is because it actually is about the same thickness. So once I've got this uh, packed in, because at the moment I need to pack it in, um, I can get on with all this and this can all be insulated. And I'm happy that I know what I'm going to be doing up here after I've filled all this okay, in. Okay, well, the first job I've got to do is, uh, I'm want to, all I want to do is fasten the, some of these on. This is on temporary at the moment. And I've got it so that the insulation is going to be level. Again, this is just a piece on temporary. Um, but the original window sill finished at that level. And I'd like it higher. I'd just like it to take it a bit higher. To do that, and the, also the original window, window sill just screwed straight into the plastic at the bottom of the plinth there. And I don't like that because it was, it was always flexible anyway. But, so, what I want to do is a new position, I'd like to make it there, a little bit higher, and then this, or something similar, is going to go onto the back of there. Um, and it'll just make it a lot neater, I think. So that's the way I want to do it. So I'm going to use this as a framework which will fasten into the original stud, and then I'll probably get some packing, probably something a little bit better than that, which I can then fasten to the top of that, and I'll just make sure it's the right width. This just coincidentally happens to be our, our correct width for 18mm so the insulation can go on there and then when I do finally come to put the sill on I like the height that I want it which will go on to there and then either the trim this tri this is just a piece of spare but either I, I'm, I want to bring the, the sill forward a bit and the reason for that is because of this piece here um, I, I would like the sill to go past it rather than that piece going past the sill. So I'm going to put an extra piece on the back and uh, when the wood yard's open again and it should end up something like that. So yeah, so that's the first job is to actually put these. I've got this set up, I've actually moved this piece and I've just temporarily screwed it to the uh, main framework. Now what, I, what I'm intending to do is cut this piece um, so it has an angle from here um, running out into the room if you like to call it that, up to here. Now the reason I've put it on there is because I've got another piece here uh, which is the same size and if I put that underneath here and run it up so they're both just touched and I've already set this up so it's not just a coincidence. They both touch here, so I know from here to the edge here is the angle that I want. So I can take that one away again, obviously that's what well, I screwed that in, and then I use this. Now I can then put that into the corner like that, run that on there, that's I've already set this up as well just to make it easier, and that runs to the corner here. I can hold that on there, and I can scribe a line. Now all I have to do now is cut that line, adjust that to the position that I want it up into this corner here and then I can work on the next piece to match this piece and it'll come round and then come in front of that. So, so I set that the uh, sort of, and put a piece of 
this one will do. Now I've got the laser beam here, and as you can see at the moment it's on 90 degrees. So I'll turn this, it drops into the 15 degree, which I, I have already tried it. And if I look at the laser beam, it actually is spot on for 15 degrees. So I'll use that, otherwise it does, I can fine tune it, but it's just a little bit more messing about than using the standard, well I suppose the default settings if you like to call it that. So I'll just check it, yeah, and then we'll take that down a bit. That's the first well, I've got my first piece in, but it, it is only in screwed in temporary uh, because I've got to. I want to just use it to mark up the second piece. Um, there is a little bit of an anomaly. I don't think you see that, but the the angle of the window frame doesn't match the angle of the stud. That comes over this way a little bit more, and. Uh, that could create an issue, but it shouldn't be too much of a problem. So what I've got to do is when I mark this up, this next piece, I've got to mark it up there, but also cut a notch out the back corner there, so it, it, so it fits I've in. I've got the piece of wood here, so it's going to be difficult to try and recreate that angle so I'm, I'm fairly confident that for my purposes that the um, installation is fairly level so I'm going to push that underneath just to make life easier scribe a line underneath there keep it as level as you can scribe a line here and also in here you can see where the join of the main frame is so I can guesstimate that enough I just make a mark there I'll take that back. So I've got the piece marked out. Now I've also got the piece that I cut off the first piece and I can just use that for a, a size. Now what I want is to measure the part that I've cut, 15 degree part. And I have checked it, I mean I didn't, it hasn't been cut short, I've actually cut it. So if I mark that out there and then transfer that measurement to this part here. I now have, to make life easier, my cut. So I can cut that and then cut that down there and hopefully so it'll all match. So what I've got to do is make this, that was the last one was 15, so I'm gonna guess 30. Now I'm at 30, I've got my laser beam there, and yeah, it looks like it matches up. So it matches up near enough, let's put it that way. So there we go. Now, <laughs> I've just chopped my mark off. <laughs> I've still got another mark on here, so I can remark it, it's not a really an issue. And to be honest, it doesn't, doesn't have to be absolutely, absolutely accurate on this one. But oh, I'm going to take it on there. I'll put that on 45. 45. To a guesstimate cut using a laser beam, so that looks about right. Right, so we can see this. There we go, and that goes in there. Now, um, I did actually, um, it didn't quite fit, I did actually take another slither off the back there 
but not much, just the width of the saw blade because uh, it wasn't quite going in. But now it fits absolutely perfect, except there's a something just underneath here. I think it might have been a packer when they put the window in. I'm going to investigate it a little bit further and, and just cut it off. But going up to that packer, and this is the thing about just putting things in temporary until you've got it all set up, is it's making about a quarter inch deeper and it really wants to come up like that. So, but that's enough from a cut point of view and I can continue with the uh, the rest of it. Hopefully you can see that, but that piece that's the, looks like a packing is actually a little bit of the lead flashing and uh, which goes over the top of the frame and down the outside. So I'll just cut that little bit off. It's not on the rest of the frame. So I'll be all right just cutting that bit off. There's the first two pieces in. And um, um, I've put this little backing piece on top just to keep it square um, because nothing's ever perfect. And, and this wood obviously leans one way or another, the main frame. So I've just put that in temporary, but I've even fa I've fastened this in temporary as well. It's only on a couple of screws. Um, but this is the piece of lead that I managed to get out from underneath it. I did notice when I was underneath there, there is a slight draft coming from between the frame. I can't see any daylight, so I, before I actually do a final fixing in with this, um, I'm going to seal it. I will seal it up. So, but yeah, that's uh, nice and a nice fit, nice and smooth. You can't feel the join, and uh, so yeah. So I've just got those to do. So I think we'll put on time lapse. braced it, braced the uh, joints with these. Um, as I was doing it, I think that this is this is 12 mil. And instead of using a thicker piece of wood, I think I might actually use some of that. Um, and I've just tried it with the sill. Which is gonna go on there like that. So um, yeah, I think that's going to work actually. So I might end up cutting more of this to um, put the final sill on. Because uh, by the time I put the backing, this sill's going to come forward about there, not to there. And then I'm going to put a, a backing piece which will just take it up to there. And I think that's a, you know, a nice level. So yeah, so I'm quite happy with that. So the, uh, um, I'm not, fastened in permanently this will all come out because I want to put some more extra steel in but but that's now set for me to put the insulation in here um, but first before I do that I'm going to I managed to get some um, um, foam filler so I'm going to fill all, all that for now So there we go. I've got it all filled up with foam. I probably won't have to trim too much off because I'll just leave it there. And uh, I had enough left in the tin to do this side of the window frame. So I've got all that filled up. And um, I've just got to let it to dry now and then I can be on to the next stage. <laughs> 